The red light is blinking, which means only one thing. It's time to rock and roll. How's it going, everyone? It's your host, Mike Starr, and welcome to the show. And on today's video, I'll be going through the top 10 films of 2024, according to Mike Starr here. So don't get your knickers in a knot. This is just my opinion, my taste. Let's get this video started with number 10 being the 10th installment in this sci-fi franchise, the 2024 directed film by Fede Alvarez, and that is Alien Romulus. Yes, a great addition to this franchise, a story all on its own. I liked it. It was different, interesting, scary, but still had that sci-fi element that the original first Alien movie had. Now to number nine. This is the 2024 Tillman Singer film, The Bizarre, Peculiar, Strange and Artisan horror film that not many people know about. And this is Cuckoo, a strange film about this young lady that moves to the Bavarian Alps in Germany, where she works as this hotel desk clerk. When all these weird things start to occur, you know, you've got this young lady riding a bicycle home late at night when this creature out of the mist just comes and chases her. Great movie, check it out. Now to number eight. This is the 2024 James Watkins film. And this is a great thriller that uh, definitely is highly underrated. And this film stars James McAvoy, great actor, and this is Speak No Evil. Really cool film about these two families that are on holiday. Then they um, end up meeting up at one of the family's residence and uh, yeah, it turns out that uh, the uh, people that they met overseas aren't all they seem or cut out to be. Anyways, now to number seven. This is the Rose Glass film. Great female director this one. She's so talented. And this is Love Lies Bleeding, a great Christine Kristen Stewart film, very, very good. Just different and unusual film about female bodybuilders and uh, steroid abuse. Uh, this is, I'm pretty sure this is an A24 film, but yeah, really bizarre, but I love this movie. Definitely goes a long way. I'll definitely be picking this up on 4K when it comes out. Anyways, moving on to number six. This is the Akasha Stevenson film. She is another female director, a great talent. And this is the original, the prequel, and this is The First Omen. This was actually a better Omen film than the other sequels. The second one, the third one, and then they made a fourth one, I'm pretty sure, with a, a little girl. Haven't seen it though, but um, yeah, this one was quite interesting. It stars uh, that chick that was in um, The Servant, uh, Apple original TV series by M.I. Shyamalan. She did a great job in this movie. It's a really creepy uh, omen film uh, about religion, about possession. Really, really great film. Now to number five. This is none other than the lesser known, underrated, but I, I, I regard this as just one of the best science fiction films all year. And this is the 2024 Nicolas Cage film directed by Benjamin Brewer. And this is Arcadian, a great kind of post-apocalyptic film about uh, this kid that goes out one night and he falls into this ditch and then the father has to go and find him and save him before the zombie-like creatures out in the middle of nowhere where they all live uh, comes to get him. Just a great film that I think more people should watch. Highly, highly underrated. Now to number four. This is none other than the 2024 Scott Beck and Brian Woods just masterpiece. And I did an in-depth review of this, but not to mention all the other movies I mentioned on this channel. So check them out if you're interested. But this is the recent release of the horror thriller, I guess, with elements of sci-fi. And this is the Hugh Grant film, Herity. Just a great, great, interesting film about these nuns, or as uh, someone told me, missionaries. Thank you for that. Uh, they go to this person's residence, uh, and Hugh Grant opens the door, invites him in, and he turns out to be this sadistic psycho that plays his mind game, similar to Jigsaw in the Saw films, and he kind of keeps him there against their will, and they're just, 
you know, struggling to survive in this house that has all these hidden doors. And oh, what a mind blowing film. But yeah, that is number four here on this list. Now to number three. Now I know I'm gonna cop a lot of hate for this. This is kind of a, you know, a love, a lot of people love this film, but also a lot of people hate this film. And this is the 2024 Alex Garland film. And in my opinion, one of his best films. And the, Alex Garland, if you don't know, he is the director, filmmaker who made uh, Ex Machina. He's made a lot of great films. And this film stars Kirsten Dance, and that is Civil War. What a great movie about journalists that documents what journalists go through uh, in their everyday journalist lifestyle. Anyways, now to number two. Now, this is my second favorite film of this year, and uh, I definitely think it earned the spot of runner-up. And this film was directed by the great Oz Perkins, Osgood Perkins. He made uh, the dark horror Hansel and Gretel, or Gretel and Hansel kids film, turned it into a more adult horror take on that movie. And this is the thriller horror film starring Nicolas Cage, and uh, Maker Monroe, and this film needs no introduction. Long Legs, great film. This film, in my opinion, is creepy. One of the best psychological thriller horror films to date. Definitely nowhere near as good as Science of the Lambs, but in my opinion, it is up there with the greats. A story about a serial killer going on a killing spree, nobody knows who it is, and it's up to Detective Lee Harker, played by Maker Monroe, to crack this case. Really, really great story, Nicolas Cage, Blew my mind with his performance. Definitely check it out. It's dark, it's gritty, it is a must check out. Now to number one, and in my opinion, this is the best film of the year. I don't give a F-E-C-K what anybody else thinks. In my opinion, great film this one. Really, really good film by a female director, by the way. This is directed by Coralie Faraghi, a French female director. She made that film Revenge, just, very, very talented filmmaker. This stars Demi Moore in a really great performance. You definitely see Demi Moore's versatility in this movie. And this is the science fiction horror, just body horror. This film is so great, and that is The Substance. What an amazing, original, just different kind of movie. Definitely mind-blowing. This film is like nothing I've ever seen before. This film's about, in a nutshell, the story's about this famous aerobics television personality instructor. She was really big in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s. And then when she gets a bit older, nobody wants to hire her to do the show anymore. They all talk about it behind her back. And then she calls up this number to get this serum, which makes her younger again. And she kind of, you know, uh, turns into this different person. This person comes out from within her body and it's this whole different person. Like it's this youthful, I guess, doppelganger of, of her in a sense. And then this doppelganger uh, becomes the new sensation, this new TV aerobics instructor. Just such a, such a gnarly, just another level film, but check it out. That is my number one for the best film of this year. Definitely nothing's gonna top this, nothing has topped this. But that's it for my top 10 films of 2024. Thank you all for watching. I'm Mike Star. If you've liked this video, like this list, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your comments in the comment section down below on my list, but also what you think is the best film of 2024. And if I've missed out on any, but also don't forget to check out my previous video. I'll put a link in the description to where you can watch that. I did a review of the brand new 2024 sequel, the Ridley Scott film, Gladiator 2. So check it out, it's live, it's on my channel, but also don't forget to subscribe to this channel because you don't want to miss out on my next video. I'll be doing a top 10 worst films of 2024. That is going to be an interesting video. That will rattle quite a few cages. But anyways, Mike starts signing off saying I'll catch you all in my next video, but until then, have a night!